What? Are you serious? Jeffrey Simmons is out as well? Oh, I can't stand Corona. Jesus. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me is I can't watch Derrick Henry on Sunday stiff arm people. What the hell is a stiff arm? This is a stiff arm. Oh! <laughs> By the way, no one was hurt making this video. Tighten up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another NFL Titans pregame preview. This time, not this time. We have him again. We got Mr. Moore in the house. What's up, Ken? Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? And not much, man. We're back at it again. And the funny thing was that the preview game was supposed to be, obviously, Tennessee Titans versus the Steelers. But then somewhere out of the line, the undefeated Titans ended up taking an L, a big L. They, a team came out of nowhere and just – blindsided everyone took our team out man it took it took the titans out took the titans out completely it started with defense i was like okay and then it hit the offense and now it's just moving on to the nfl i mean this team is dangerous and if you guys don't know it covid19 has has landed in nashville tennessee man it's it's been pretty rough for titan fans uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you saw my, my power rankings earlier this week for the AFC South. Originally, I had um, Kansas City 1, Buffalo mm -hmm. 2, Tennessee 3, and, um, and then I had to go adjust it and put Kansas City 1, Buffalo 2, COVID-19 2A, <laughs> and scratch out the Titans because they just wiped us completely out of the uh, the power rankings in the AFC. Exactly. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, uh, our first loss in the season came from a, a team that doesn't even play for the NFL. Like, it's crazy. You know, like, you, you we knew that it was – I knew eventually it was going to come. I think I was talking to Mark about it. I was saying, like, yeah, man, like, I, I knew there was going to be a team that was going to get it, but – you know, it just – everything was going so smoothly. You know, week one, everything was good. There was no signs. Week two, again. And I guess that just, you know – and that was one thing that was going to bother me. I said, if we go throughout the the season and then all of a sudden someone gets it and then they have to shut down the season, I'm like, that's even worse than, than anything. I'd rather the season not start if that was going to happen. Um, it kind of looks like it's going that way, just how rapid everything is going. What, what do you think about that, Ken? Well, um, I think the NFL has um, – I'm hoping they have some contingency plans in place that, that we just don't know about. Looks like they're just kind of sliding the goalposts. Um, last week, you know, when our situation came, they was like, well, we're going to move the Titans to Monday or Tuesday, and then more tests continue to pop throughout the week, uh, where eventually they had to go ahead and postpone the game um, until week seven. Mm -hmm. um, and then you see the situation that broke out today with New England and Kansas City. So yeah. I think they're going to that same scenario where they're going to try to move it to Monday or Tuesday for the Patriots and Chiefs. And if more tests pop up tomorrow, um, then they'll probably still hold out Tuesday as an option. And then if more tests pop up again on Monday, then they'll probably have to look to reschedule that game later in the year. So it looks like that is the plan that the NFL has in place. Um, now, it, it's somewhat ironic that, of course, in baseball, the first week they had a similar issue with the Miami Marlins and then I think the, the following week with the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. Um, I think both of those teams ended up missing about a, week, a week's worth of baseball, about seven games. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think they made up all those games. I think they made up maybe, maybe five of them. I think yeah, both of those teams ended with 58, 58 games out of 60. Mm -hmm. um, and ironically, the Miami Marlins just won a playoff series on, 
on yesterday. So the first couple of weeks for baseball were rocky, um, but they were able to get through it. Um, The NFL, luckily, they got through the first quarter of the season, the first three weeks, almost the first quarter. Um, And then this is hit, you know, kind of at the quarter pole. So um, hopefully they can navigate through it. Now the problem with the NFL is that you're dealing with twice as many players and personnel members that that you have in baseball. So you have a lot, lot more moving parts to deal with in in football than you do in baseball. So it's going to be interesting to see how they, um, how they work around this situation. But um, I'm sure Roger Goodell is pulling his hair out. I tell you that. Definitely, man. I mean, as of right now, like the only thing I was thinking about was like, okay, so this thing is spreading like, like, like wildfire. Like what is the NFL's next step? Is it to, to postpone all the game, postpone the season, wait two weeks, and then play again to see what's happening? Because this thing, look, it's like catching like wildfire, man. Well, it's three teams right now, right? It's, it's the Titans, it's the Chiefs, and it's the Patriots. The good thing for the NFL is that the Vikings have not had any positive tests. Mm-hmm. So if they get through tomorrow morning with the Vikings not having any positive tests and that game can go on against Houston, that's a major, major hurdle for the NFL because it shows that a team could have some infected players play a game and it's not transferred to the other team, you know, maybe because of the helmets, the mouthpieces, you know, different apparatus that that players have on um, that are not there in baseball or basketball. So that does give the NFL some hope. So I, I think the, the key watch tomorrow morning Um, Sunday morning, depending on when you're watching this, is if the Minnesota Vikings can get through unscathed and play their game against Houston. Um, That would be a major hurdle and a major win for the NFL. Definitely, definitely. And again, we're going to be rooting for uh, the Vikings to get their first victory against Houston. So definitely, you know, watch out for that. Now, can you explain to people, because a lot of people on on, – on Twitter and, and social media and everything like that, we're confused about the whole say he's tested positive, but he doesn't show any symptoms compared to someone testing positive and then showing no signs of symptoms and how long um, day to day. I know it's like 10 days, right? If they test positive, but they show uh, symptoms five days, if they test positive with no symptoms, correct? Something correct. like that. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. So if they're asymptomatic, they don't show any symptoms. Um, the minimum, again, this is the minimum amount of time uh, that they have to miss is five days for them to be eligible to come back. They have to pass two, um, uh, two COVID tests. And then they also have to uh, go through another physical examination. I believe some type of the examination that they do on their yeah, heart. I'm, I'm um, trying to read it right now as we speak. So I'm, I'm paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, some type of cardio test yep. um, that the player has to has to take as well. Yeah, um, if they do have symptoms, um, then you're looking probably looking at a minimum of ten days um, yep. that they have to be out. So for the Titans, you know, I would depending on the, the if anybody had symptoms or not, I would not count on any of the eight guys that we have right now out um, being available for Buffalo. Yeah, uh, and now you heard Jeffrey a Simmons. Of them that got that that popped early in the week may be available um, if they didn't have any symptoms. Um, but for Jeffrey Simmons um, today, man, that's a huge loss. Along with Daquan Jones, those are both of your starting defensive tackles. Defensive tackles. And then you got Correa, you got Fulton, so you got four key members of your defense, a defense that was already struggling. Exactly. Uh, have two wide receivers and Batson and, and Adam Humphreys and then your long, long snapper and Bo Brinkley and then a practice guard. And you have guys. Correa as well. Forgot yeah, about I mentioned Correa. Correa. Yeah, yeah, outside linebacker Correa. Yeah. So you got seven key guys to this football team. And that's not even counting the guys that are injured, like Adoree Jackson yeah. and, oh. and Taylor Lewan. I believe A.J. Brown is, is should be ready next week. Um, everything was, was looking good for him to possibly play tomorrow if there was going to be a game tomorrow. Uh, but he should definitely be back for next week. So um, things not looking good right now for Titans Nation. Absolutely not. And here, here's the, the, the little thing I, I got from the NFL. It says, following a positive test, uh, but asymptomatic, 10 days after pass 
since the initial positive test or five days have passed since the initial, initial positive test and receives two consecutive negative PCR virus tests at least 24 hours apart within that five day period and then has clearance from the club head's team physician. Now that's, that's for asymptomatic. Right. For right. the following positive symptomatic, you have at least 10 days have passed since symptoms first appeared and at least 72 hours have passed since the last experienced symptoms. And then at the end, clearance from the club's uh, club head team physician. So that's, that's with that, just in case people, you know, people are really stuck on that. But again, this is a Titans team that's hurting bad, man. Injury and now COVID-19. And like you said, um, you know, missing Jeffrey Simmons, that defense was shaky already. And now missing these key players, it's even if we do play Buffalo, which I, I to be honest with you, I don't think we're going to play that game either. <laughs> It's in jeopardy. I mean, it's it's in serious jeopardy. Um, every single day this week, um, we got to play a test. Yeah. So I mean, they're gonna keep the facility closed. Um, it was supposed to open up today. I don't believe it opened up today. Obviously, it's not gonna open up tomorrow on on game day. Um, so Oof. now you're pushed back to to Monday um, to see if you can even get guys in the facility. Um, it's technically a bye week now, so guys, I don't believe have to be back be back until Wednesday, um, which is their normal normal day to install um, for the following week. Um, and then you got eight coaches that are that are that are out that can't even help facilitate the game plan. So um, the good thing is, and and if you look at half full rather than half empty, the Titans do have some wiggle room. They're three and zero. It's a lot better than being zero and three or one and two. So even if you lose to Buffalo, yeah, that would be a tough loss because that's a team that you're going to be battling for home field um, mm -hmm. when it comes playoff time. Um, at least you do have that cushion where you're three and zero on the season. Um, we'll see how the division how the division games go tomorrow or Sunday with with Indy and Chicago, Houston and Minnesota, um, Jacksonville. I forget who Jacksonville's playing tomorrow. Um, but we'll see how those division games go tomorrow. And if a couple of those teams can lose, that'll buy us a little bit more time, a little bit more cushion. Definitely. And um, we just, again, we have to see, do you think possible? At, I mean, that's the thing. Where do you plug in these games after, just in case we do miss a Buffalo game? And obviously the Steelers, do we, are we going to play like two games in, in, in the span of a week? Are we going to, are they going to extend the, the season for a little bit longer? I think that's what, that's, it just sounds like a, a better plan, just extending the season a little bit longer. I, I think eventually what's going to happen, and I'm not sure why the NFL didn't do this to begin with, um, but usually there's a bye week between the championship games mm -hmm. and the Super Bowl. So I think eventually if this continues, what eventually is going to happen is, assuming the, Patri the, the Patriots and Chiefs can't play tomorrow in that game, has to get moved and, and you know, if some other things break out. Mm -hmm. um, they'll likely push back the playoffs a week and you won't have that week off between the championship games and the Super Bowl and create a week 18, which may be like a, a COVID week, if you will, for <laughs> makeup games that you yeah. can't make up during the regular season. So they're, they're probably going to have to eventually go to that um, because, again, with the fall coming, um, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, unfortunately with, with no bubble, um, you know, player, players are out. I mean, not out, out like partying, but I mean, out in, in the community, like you and I, you yeah. know, going to the grocery store, going to the gas station, you know, if they have kids that are going to school and coming home, I mean, just living, living regular everyday life. Um, is is problematic. It's problematic. Definitely, and and a lot of people like I understand. Yeah, for entertainment wise, we understand. Yeah, we put health first. We obviously we're upset because of this, but at the same time, you gotta you know put in. You have to be in their shoes as well. I mean, Daquan Jones has like a one year old as well, so I mean, that could also affect. You get me? So like again, hopefully everyone you know stays safe and you know everything goes good and that doesn't spread throughout their families as well because. I mean, they're human just like us, man. And, and yeah. that's just a game because I've seen a lot of people write some negative stuff too, just like really upset. But 
I mean, if someone gets it, I mean, you can't get upset with the person. You just got to, you know, wish to the best for them and just keep going, man. It's just a game. At the end of the day, it's just a game. At the end of the day, it is a game. It's entertainment. Um, and like you mentioned, these players that have small kids at home, you yeah. know, they don't know that they have this. They go home. Now they got to get their whole family tested. Yeah. It doesn't just stop with them, right? Yeah. They got to go get their whole family tested. Yeah. So if they have a, a spouse or a kid or a mom or a dad That's that it. gets oh, sick, then, you know, they may need to take off personal time. Even if they're ready to come back physically, they may need to take off personal time to take care of their family. So, yeah. um, you know, and we're in this culture where, you know, a lot of people worry about their fantasy teams and their fantasy players and, <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. And I understand that I play fantasy sports as well, and, and I get it. Um, but at the end of the day, these guys are human. Yeah. They have families. They have lives. Um, um, you know, let's, let's wish them the best. And, and at the end of the day, yeah, do we want the Titans to win? Um, and of course. Make a make a Super Bowl appearance and, and make our make a heck of a run. We got a great team this year, um, yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, these guys got to take care of themselves, and and eventually they got to make decisions that are best for them and their families. Definitely, absolutely, Ken. Again, uh, I know you were under weather. I'm glad I'm glad that you're all came in. I was checking up on you. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no. Doubt. I think I had some bad pizza, so I'm okay. Oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> You have to go to New York for good pizza, man. That was like a little. I, I'm I'm all about like uh like the the New York style pizza again. I'm from I'm from Jersey, so that's when I I get some like Domino's pizza. I'm not a big fan or Papa John's. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I, I quit eating the chain pizzas a while yeah. ago. Um, I'll try to find shops, some. Man. I'll try to find some specialty, you know, pizza places now. Um, you know, and, and go with that, but but yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. There you go, man. I'll, I'll get again if they do have uh, if we do have um, the Bills Bills game, man. Would love to get you back on. I, I like this little segment we do. You know, make a short little preview. But unfortunately, the preview this week is uh, COVID. So again, I hope <laughs> you guys stay safe. Hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. Follow my man on Twitter. Anything else, Kenton? Yeah, you can follow me um, at K More Sports at K More Sports on Twitter, Instagram Ken More Sports, Ken More Sports on Twitter, and then um, also Legacy Sports Net is where I do my high school football broadcast, um, covering the um, Oak Ridge team down here in the Houston area. They're off to a two and zero start. Go. Um, they got a great running back. Um, by the name of Alton McAllister. He's going to be coming to um, a, a Power 5 school next year. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to keep an eye on that kid down here uh, in the Houston area. So um, hopefully everybody stays safe. Enjoy your football games on Sunday. And um, let's hope we have Titans football next week against Buffalo. Yes, sir. Tighten up, man. Have a good one, buddy. All right? All right, man. Have a good one. Peace.